Imagine a weapon so precise it can target a coin from a kilometer away, yet so advanced it's invisible to the naked eye. Welcome to today's deep dive into the Dragonfire, the UK's revolutionary laser system that could redefine military engagements. How will this technology shape the future of warfare? Let's find out. The Dragonfire isn't just any weapon. It's at the forefront of a new era in defense technology. Developed by the UK Ministry of Defense, this laser system stands out not only for its precision, but also for its potential accelerated deployment. Amidst growing global conflicts, the UK Defense Secretary Grant Shapps has expressed a strong desire to fast track its production. But why the rush? The goal is clear to deploy Dragonfire on the Ukrainian front lines as soon as possible, demonstrating both its effectiveness and strategic importance. Let's talk specifics. Dragonfire harnesses the power of a hexagonal array of 37 laser channels, each emitting 1.5 kilowatts of energy. These are not just any lasers, they are combined through mirrors to amplify their power, creating what's known as a perfect laser beam. This beam is then focused through a telescopic lens, enabling it to hit targets as small as a one euro coin from distances of up to a kilometer. Moreover, the system's wavelength is so refined that it remains invisible, adding an element of stealth to its long list of capabilities. Dragonfire brings several strategic advantages to the table. Its ability to precisely neutralize targets from afar makes it a formidable tool against drones and missiles, common threats in modern combat. Perhaps even more appealing is its cost-effectiveness. Operating the Dragonfire for 10 seconds costs about as much as running a regular heater for an hour. This could provide a long-term, sustainable alternative to more expensive air defense systems reshaping budget allocations and operational strategies in military defense. While the UK is spearheading this innovation, it's not alone in the pursuit of advanced laser weapons. The US has been rumored to deploy similar technologies in the Middle East, and Russia has also claimed success using laser systems to combat Ukrainian drones. The development and deployment of such technologies are not just about national security, but also about positioning on the global stage. How nations adapt to and integrate these technologies could very well dictate future international power dynamics. Interest in Dragonfire is not limited to the UK. Ukrainian officials have been vocal about their eagerness to test this technology on the battlefield. Following successful trials that demonstrated the weapon's capabilities, Ukraine sees it as a potential game-changer in their ongoing conflict. Such enthusiasm is matched by UK officials, suggesting a partnership that extends beyond mere technology transfer, aiming at real-time combat applications and strategic advantages. However, like all technologies, Dragonfire faces its own set of challenges. Its effectiveness can be influenced by environmental conditions like fog, rain, thick smoke or dust, potentially limiting its operational range. These factors are critical as they can absorb or scatter the laser beams, diminishing their accuracy and effectiveness. Moreover, while the push for early deployment is strong, the readiness level of this technology is crucial. Deploying it at 70% efficacy, as suggested by Shaps, means accepting a margin of error and potential on-field adjustments. As we look toward the future, the landscape of laser technology is promising. Ongoing advancements could lead to even more powerful and compact laser systems, enhancing their deployability and effectiveness across various military applications. Its potential impact on modern warfare is substantial, offering a blend of precision, stealth, and cost efficiency. Such developments could overcome current limitations, including those posed by adverse environmental conditions, 
making laser systems like Dragonfire even more versatile and formidable on the battlefield.